All right, so lesson three starts on page 19. And let's take you back in time. Let's go back a few grades. Let's go back several grades. Let's go back to the time of one of your siblings, one of my children, to math they were that they're doing, or they have done. Okay? Let's do some basic stuff, and let's just layer a complication on top of it. That's what we're going to do this year. Okay? We're going to layer a complication on top of it. All right, so we'll start off with the easy thing. So let's take a basic, basic formula. Here's a formula. The S stands for sum. The M stands for more. T stands for? Total. Total. Yeah. Okay. Pretty simple equation. You, it's just something you did way back in preschool. If you, or not preschool, but yeah, kindergarten, kindergarten. If you have three apples and you get one more, you now have four apples. Real basic level stuff. That's all this format is telling you, okay? That is all that the format wants you to know. There are some other formats we'll take a look at as well, just to help us out. Okay, here's another one. All right. If you started with something and you took some of that away, you have a new total, right? If you go into a store with $40 and you leave with 50 cents, that's your new total. A lot went away, didn't it? 3950 went away. So that's what that kind of format talking about is taking. The S starts with some, which you started with, and then some of it went away. All right, and you get a new total. So you started with some, some went away, you get a new total. Okay, that's what you got left. All right, another one is used, uh, you can think of in uh, a time type problem. I'm going to capitalize it so it's clear. All right, if you have a greater amount, you take away a lesser amount, you get a new total. Uh, I should have written that one. Let's change that T to a D. A DT. The difference. Okay. You have a greater minus a lesser. You end up with a difference. Okay. They, they can also be a, uh, applied to talking about time, where you started out at one date and you had another date. You can figure out somebody's age that way. They all work together. So we are going to, I'm going to give you a few word problems, and we're going to apply these formulas to the word problems. Easy, because a lot of people get intimidated by a word problem. Because, like, you got a paragraph of words. And people are like, I don't know what to do. Well, read it first. Break it down into pieces. Step yourself through the problem to try to figure out what it's asking you to do. Okay? There are th these three types of problems are asking you to, the first one's asking you to combine things, right? The second one is asking you to separate things. So this one's asking you to separate. And the last one is a comparing type problem. You're comparing two amounts to get a difference. So you're comparing. So the, the three kinds of problems we'll hit on will be combining, separating, and comparing in the order I wrote them down. All right? So let me give you a few in any order in particular. I'll give you a word problem, and I want you to tell me what we need to do. All right? So here's the word problem. Deep breath. All right. So. From 1990 to 2000, so from 1990 to 2000, how many years is that? 10. The population of Strickland <laughs> increased from 180,635, I'll write that down, 
okay, from, so that's my starting place, to 215,768. Okay, the old and the new populations. How many more people lived in Strickland in 2000 than in 1990? What kind of problem? Am I, getting, am I comparing, am I separating, or am I combining? Which, what am I doing? Which one of those three? I'm comparing. I'm comparing two different dates, 1990 and the 2000 date. All right? Yes, if I could, I'd name my own place Strickland. Uh, I would. Uh, uh, that was a terrible joke. I didn't say it was a it's joke. Cheesy. I'm serious. <laughs> All right, what would we do to find this out? Since this is a comparing problem, what would I do to solve it? Tell me. All right. Very good. So I'm going to subtract my 2000 from my, or subtract the 1990 from my 2000. I said that wrong. I had it right in my head, but my mouth didn't. All right, so what is my population increase? Because people want to live in Strickland. 35,133. All right, 35,133. It must be a good place to live. Okay, Mr. Strickland. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. All right, so that was the comparing problem. <coughs> let's move on. All right, so this time, a different kind of problem. We did a comparing one. Let's do uh, a different one. I need, I need a weird name. Someone give me a name. Fred. Fred. Claw. That's not really <laughs> weird. But... Hey, Fred. Sorry. Fred went to the theater, the movies, <laughs> and went in with $20, okay? Which isn't going to get him very far in the movies now. all. Oh, so he went in to the movies with $20, and he left with, well, this is the real world, like nothing, but he left with 1050. So he came out of the movie 1050. So he didn't buy anything, and he went at a matinee because there's no. Okay, what kind of problem is this? Is this combining, separating, or comparing? What are we gonna do? Well, I guess I didn't finish saying the problem. Did. How much did he spend? How much did Fred spend? Now, uh, what kind of problem is this? Separating. It's a separating problem, right? And yeah, th this is one you should be able to do in your head. But it's a separating problem. So we're going to do $20. Yes, these are easy. Pretty quickly, they're going to they're throw some hard ones at you. So let's just make sure we got the format. So $20 minus $10.50 was, I already heard the answer. Nine fifty. All right. All right. Does that make sense as a separating type problem? All right. Let's do. Okay. So we've done comparing and we've done separating. So my last option to show you is uh combining. Combining. All right. All right. So let's do a combining one. Uh, somebody give me an insect. Uh, bug. Uh, what? <laughs> a beetle. A beetle. <laughs> Thank you. All right. In, in a third grade locker, in three third grade like, lockers, there were 29, <laughs> 28, <laughs> and 31 beetles. <laughs> It's made up. All right. What is the total number of beetles in those three lockers? <laughs> what do I need to do? We already said this was a combining one. So what do we have to do? Combine. So what? How do we combine them? What do we you do? Add them. We add them. Okay. So how many beetles are in these three lockers? Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight, 88. 88 beetles. <laughs> All right. What? Okay. Maybe they're ladybugs. And it's not a big They're deal. Bugs. All right. like a, like they're bugs. They're beetles. All right. All right. Does that make sense? Those are the three kinds of formats the problems are going to take. Let's do one more. A certain person. Clob. A certain person. Fabrizio. Clob. Okay, clob. A 
Okay, let's do one. Club was born in 1901. And Club's still alive. What? So it is 2015. Oh, wait, or is it 2017? <laughs> it's 2015, Club's still alive. How old is Club? 2015 years old. Or 114. <laughs> How do we do this? How do we figure out how old Claude is? Sorry. Okay, how do we figure out how, how do we figure out how old Claude is? You subtract 2015 from no, you subtract 1901. Yes. Oh, Otherwise he'd be negative and that's not right. So how old is how old is Claude? 114. 114. Years wow, young. <laughs> Years young. Years young. So we're going by that now. All right. So he's 114 years young, almost <laughs> as old as our principal. I'm little. <laughs> Just kidding. Can I tell I, it? No, because I've, I've said that to be a title tale. And now it's on YouTube. So, any questions? <laughs> now you'll remember that problem. Any questions? All right. I'm going to get into my two 